Hi friends, welcome to Mr. Mark's Classroom. My name is Mark Jones and I have a really fun idea. Actually, it would really work well to even be a gift for someone else if children wanted to make them. So maybe you'll have an occasion soon that there's something you're gonna gather the kids together for and you need a craft just to make a gift for someone. Well, it's this, it's a simple magnet for the refrigerator or for uh, any kind of metal surface like a, a filing cabinet or something. So it could be even for a teacher. But in this cute, this little owl, it's made with little slices of wood. Now you can buy this at like Hobby Lobby or a hobby store, or you can go out and cut it yourself. Maybe you know somebody who could uh, slice these up for you and that would be even cheaper free even. And so uh, what they did was they drew on, so let me show you a little closer. They drew on some wings and then they added these pop bottle lids to be the eyes and a button as well as a googly eye and then just a piece of foam to be the beak uh, of the uh, sheet of foam and then some chenille stems cut in order to glue on some uh, some feet and then went ahead and hot glued on the uh, magnet in the back those pellet magnets actually work pretty good they're a little bit stronger you can depend on them so we were just finishing one up here with um, an owl and two two of the eyes are already on and if you don't want to use hot glue because you burn your fingers like Mr. Mark, then you could just use some Elmer's glue and glue them on and make sure, because I think the button really helps the eyes stand out terrific. I already had a piece of the foam. You know, we just have gobs of this stuff and it might be a heart shape or it could just be a triangle that you cut and you can just glue that on so easily with the Elmer's glue. So that really turns out really good. Now, here's another idea, and that is to make a, a little apple. So that here that would be a great idea for like a teacher if the kids wanted to make their teachers a little gift. So simply, you would just take out the red paint and you would just paint around uh, the wood piece until you had it all filled in. And I think you can see how to do that very easily. And after that dry, then you would go ahead and add the eyes and with a Sharpie marker, go ahead and put on the smile. But then he went ahead and added the uh, leaf on here. And I thought that was cute. And here's the little stem made out of the chenille stem. So that turned out to be good. Put on the magnet and it's ready to go. I think that's really fun. Now they may be wanting to make a gift for a friend at school or something. So a great way to do that is to use a piece of wood and draw a hashtag on it so that you've got a tic-tac-toe game and simply buy the marbles that have the flat bottom and you can get like a whole bag of these so you'll have plenty and so as you play the game you're going to use the different colors to try to fill it up and see who can win i would suggest that you take a baggie and put it all in a baggie for a gift so that way it can all stay together whenever they play it at their house. I think a snack bag probably would be a little bit better and let the child even write with a Sharpie on there the child's name and, who, it, and uh, who it's to and who it's from. And that would be a fun gift to give away. I think this could be a good thing to do with your kids as they're showing other kids and their friends, their family, and their teachers that they love and appreciate them with these gifts. Hey, I've got lots of great ideas at Mr. Mark's Classroom. Sign up and get the free book that's there, the idea book. You can download it right now, and then you can get all of these ideas regularly every week. And I have the uh, Kids Ministry Time Saver Notebook. I mean, this thing is chock full of great things that you can share with your kids in leadership, in preschool, in children, with parents, gobs of great information for you to use. So check it out at mrmarksclassroom.com slash store. You know, the end of the year budget's coming and it's all gonna be gone. So go ahead and get the resources that you need today. 
Hey friends, just a reminder that my new book, 31 Days to Finding Your Kids Ministry Mojo is available. It's just a little bit of reading each day, answer a few questions, and find out some things that I reveal about myself, of good and bad, and how you measure up, and you can get stronger in kids ministry. Take the challenge today.